cannot handle the stresses of life. Women are not able to connect with God in the same way that men are. That's how women see the world. They just don't see reality. That's why girls don't work out. You ever notice how girls who've been ran through or just more attractive girls tend to look at men with a sense of resentment? Their value has gone out the window. It went out the window with the first hundred guys they slept with. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Fun fact about the channel, bet you didn't know it was gonna pop up from below the frame. Uh, most of my audience is female. I wonder why that is. I genuinely don't know. Do you? Maybe it's because I wear all these fashionable hoodies. I don't know. Whenever I see that statistic, I think of two things. One, guys, subscribe, please. Two, I love my audience. I love my big babies. So when the internet draws me to a man who thinks women are not real, I had to take a look. I hadn't seen the video myself and I was promised it's some crazy stuff. Now, this guy seems to be the graduate of the Red Pull University and uh, his major is in dumbassology. So if you are a female, you know, scratch that. If you're a person who has any sense of sympathy, empathy, or understanding, you're gonna be cringing throughout this. I'm in Leo mode today and I'm feeling spicy. But before we start, I'd like to thank our awesome longtime sponsor, ExpressVPN. With ExpressVPN, your internet data is encrypted and sent through a secure tunnel to keep your private information safe and secure. I want my private information private, and I'm sure you would too, because you wouldn't want people looking at your search history. Right? Luckily, ExpressVPN is super easy to use. All you need to do is open it up and click to connect. And ExpressVPN has a no logs policy, which means they're not keeping track of what you do online. Cause it would be pretty creepy if someone actually kept track of everything you did online. So why would you let your internet provider do that? Essentially, that would be kind of like someone following me to the grocery store, recording down all my actions. 16 Leo goes to the watermelon aisle, rubs the watermelon gently. 16 Leo caresses cantaloupes as if it was girlfriend he didn't have 16 Leo staring longingly at peaches from the peach aisle. <laughs> why, why would anybody do that? But ExpressVPN does more than just protect your data. It allows you to unblock normally blocked content in your country. Did you know there are nine countries with their own versions of the office that you have never seen? You probably didn't know this because they're not available in your country, but with ExpressVPN, you can watch literally all of them. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com 16leo or by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Oh my God, this is hard to open. Also, I did get the whiteboard ready because I really want to write down what this man has to say about women. I'm not sure I'm going to comprehend the amount of stupidity that comes out of his mouth. One other thing, since finding this video, this man has actually privated his videos and removed his own profile picture so that it becomes harder to find him. Of course, this is the internet and it was so easy to find the upload. His name was formerly Nuance, but now he has become a nuisance to the world. Class is in session. Women are the physical manifestation of sensory perception. Holy crap, I was not expecting that to be the first line. Women are the physical manifestation of sensory perception. And in the same sense that when your senses are overloaded, this dude needed to cut in between that. He didn't even know what he was saying. Women are the sensory overload of misconstruction in a construction worker's uniform on a Sunday. He had to break it up into pieces. That was the first line. Women are the physical manifestations of this phenomenon. Okay, so this man seems to think women just don't exist. Flat out don't exist. I don't have the heart to tell him that he was probably born from a woman. I think this man thinks he was hatched from an egg. And I, I, you know what? I'm going to let him believe that, honestly. If your senses keep receiving that same stimulus over and over, you are not going to have as strong of a reaction being that women are the physical manifestations of this phenomenon. That is why women's value must be preserved. This is why I'm scared of books. People always say books and I'm like, <gasps> Th this is why. It's because this man has books behind him and then he probably read one or maybe two of those and then he was like, woman, a sensory overloading machine. Pleasure and pain doesn't exist. I am a floating being in the universe conscious. You're giving guys a bad name just by existing. That is a very fucking hard task to do. Women's value must be preserved. They can't be trusted to handle anything of greater responsibility. Let me just write that down right there. <laughs> Have. I just want to take this five minutes to shout out the fact that I'm in New Zealand, Aotearoa, a place that has been generally 
free for the better part of a year and our prime minister is a woman just under Arden so responsibility bro they can't be trusted to handle anything of greater responsibility a anything of greater importance than daily household chores and taking care of babies not taking care of children taking care of babies because once babies turn into children that's when the psychological development comes into place which far exceeds the capabilities that women are able to provide for the child uh, uh, uh. So a woman can only take care of infants. Write that down in your books, please. As soon as the infant starts making sense, the woman's like, well, I don't know what to do. You just lose your shit. Bust out the house. You don't even know what you're doing anymore. This kid started talking. You're like, I didn't know the plants could move. It's a kid. You thought it was a plant. It far exceeds their capability is what he said. At the risk of pandering to women right now, bro, holding another person in your belly and then farting it out. Because that's how women have the kid. They fart it out. That's not responsibility. What the hell is that then? I'm scared to get a dog in case one day it barks at me and I'm like, what? And then I just don't talk to it for five days and it runs away and has a better life without me. I'm scared of the responsibility that I won't be a good dog dad. Meanwhile, you're saying women's can't eat. They, they have no responsibility except they hold the child. The absolute audacity, my guy. What are you doing to men? Oh, it's too bad this man doesn't have a girlfriend or he'd be sleeping on the couch that he doesn't own. And it's not just fertility either. It's also based on her ability to stay with a mate. Children are more likely to survive if the father's in the home. Oh, I guess you're a student of no shit Sherlock school as well. Are you kidding me, bro? I guess so. I guess if both parents stay in a healthy relationship is better than if not both of them stay in a relationship. Oh. Oh, who, who are you? Albert Einstein? Michael Jordan Peterson over here. Oh, shit. I can tell you from personal experience. I'm pretty sure if both my parents stuck together, I wouldn't turn out so crazy. Uh, I mean, I guess you're not wrong if you start stating facts like that. You, that's a very biased thing to say, by the way, because in most situations, I think the dad does leave. I think it's more seldom that the mom in the relationship leaves the child. It does happen, of course, but not as much. And I'm pretty sure that really does mess up a person as well. So I feel like your bias statements are just that, bias. Children grow up much healthier and much happier and are much more successful later in life when the father is present. I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm gonna be so successful, money's gonna come out of my butt cheeks. That's why stepfathers don't really do the trick. You can't just inject a male person into a child's life and say, this is your new father now. And before any idiots go, well, I formed a bond with my stepfather. I'm aware that exceptions exist. I would still argue that you're not as close to your stepfather as you would have been to your biological father had you had the chance. Oh my God, this man has a master's degree in no shit Sherlockery. Yeah, how about that? Let me write that down. Saying that you're more likely to have a better relationship to your biological parent than your step-parent is pretty much like saying you're more likely to have a friendship with your friend than a hobo named James down the street. Like, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, you tell me that I'm gonna have a better relationship with the person I call mom as opposed to the person I call Martha, my dad's girlfriend who's like somehow 22 and younger than me? You really? By the way, I'm not saying that you can't have a great relationship with your step-parent. I'm sure you can. I'm sure there are people who do have it. I'm just saying this dude is making some very general statements that even my brain is not struggling to process. So I feel like there's a problem. But like I said, the more experiences, whether positive or negative, that a woman goes through decreases her value because women cannot handle the stresses or the pleasures of life. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but it's because women are not able to connect with God in the same way that men are. I don't even know how to even interpret this, but I'm gonna write that one down. Shout out my Christian friends. Uh, please check on your wives. Make sure that uh, they're actually connecting with God and not just reading the PlayStation manual, thinking it's the Bible. <laughs> I don't think I've heard anybody ever say that men can connect with God more than women. I don't know how that's a... <laughs> Where's the barometer for that? I don't know. Some women are hot as hell. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's talking about. I don't know. Women are not able to renew themselves mentally. They see everything on earth through the lens of sensory perception. If something doesn't excite them enough, then it's not a good thing. If something stresses them out too much, 
then it's also not a good thing. Everything has to be new, everything has to be fresh, everything has to be exciting all the time, 100% of the time, otherwise it's bad. That's how women see the world. I'm not entirely certain that this guy didn't get one Tinder date and it turned out to be a gold digger and he like went and he took her to a restaurant and she's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The chicken is rotten. And he's like, that's an oyster. I like blood wine. Red, red wine? Yes. Like maybe he met this girl who put this materialistic value on things and then he just somehow assumed that every person in life is the same. You just gotta meet some better people, bro. Maybe that's what your problem is. You're meeting too many people who are materialistic. You'll attract what you put out. If that's what you want, then that's what you're gonna get. If you want something real beyond that, then you're gonna have to put that out into the world. And with this ego, you can't... Bro, you might as well just give me your V card. This is craziness. What does your mom have to say about this? Is she gonna look at your videos and be like, wow, Brandon, I'm sorry, wow, nuance, so, such a nuanced analysis, bro. I love how you dissed every woman in the world. I guess I'll just say, do you just wanna move into the basement or like what? They don't have an accurate lens of reality through which they see the world. They just don't see reality. Yeah, women don't see reality, bro. What, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna do? It's just a really unfortunate part of life. Women just don't see reality. This is the worst thing I've written in the board ever. This is so stu- why? Who even thinks like this? That's why girls don't work out. You ever wonder why the vast majority of women don't work out? Sorry, fellow. What, what, what gym do you go to? I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure in most of the gyms that we go to, unisex gyms, there are girls who come in and absolutely crush it. Maybe this is a twist ending. Maybe Nuance is a woman because he's clearly not in touch with reality. I don't, this is blowing my mind. They just, they are fortunate enough to be born with a nice looking body and then it just wastes away. Come on, bro. You can't be saying this stuff. First of all, with the, you know, South American people are just, they are blessed, I'm not gonna lie. But I've went from friends who put in that work to get the body they want, okay? I seriously don't think there's any validity to that first statement. And secondly, girls don't work out. Have you seen some of the guys in America? I promise you, I swear to God, this is true. I was walking in the supermarket once. It was, uh, it was like a Walgreens or something. And there was two big dudes who went across the aisle. And I swear to you, I promise, I had to exit the aisle and give them space. Cause they couldn't accommodate me and two guys in the aisle. You talking about not working out? These people have never seen gym equipment in their life. If, if the rock is the rock, those guys are boulders or something. Because uh, you can't move them. It's not only goals, please. Come on, man. And don't let their astrology fool you either. All this crystals, all the chakra, the healing bullshit. There's no such thing as chakras. There's no such thing as crystals. Bro, it sounds like you've been doing some crystals in your spare time. You've been doing a little, a little, maybe, maybe all three at once. How have you lived this long in your life and not been able to distinguish that every goal is different in their own way? You can't bottle anybody up. You can't bottle men up. Because if I'm bottled up with you, oh my god, I'm gonna need to drink a bottle of something, man. Not all men are nuanced, and not all women are what nuance thinks women are. Pleasure experiences. If a woman has the best sex of her life with a guy, she will never be able to enjoy another man again. It has to stay at that high level. Okay, well I didn't know we were gonna talk about the sensual activities, but um... Does that not work both ways? Are you, are you just saying you're okay with having horrible sensual relations for the rest of your life? Don't bullshit me. My neck's gonna break if you do. Man, of course people want some good bedtime activities. Of course, if you're gonna have a partner, you might as well be good at what you do in bed. It's not just a woman thing, that's a human thing, bro. Even pleasurable experiences are too much for the woman to handle because they cannot refresh themselves. They can't see men in a new light. They can't appreciate different aspects of the man. All they see is whoever gives them the most dick, whoever gives them the most exciting experience. By the way, I know it's almost at the end of the video, but I absolutely love when someone of the opposite gender tries to explain how it feels to be someone off the opposite gender. That is fantastic. Always love when guys try to tell you how girls think. Just like how I love when girls explain how guys think and I'm like, hmm, not even close, lady. When I want plumbing advice, I go straight to my lawyer and I'm like, how you fix these pipes, motherfucker? When I see a crime being committed, I head straight to my barista and I'm like, make me a coffee, bro. I got a crime to solve. When life is so hard, why make things easy? All they see is whoever gives them the most dick, whoever gives them the most exciting experience.
Well, if that's the case, bro, then if your game's on point, you have nothing to worry about, huh? I guess you and me is okay, buddy. Why are you stressing? Why you look stressed out, bro? Why are you stressing? He's stressing. You ever notice how girls who've been ran through or just more attractive girls tend to look at men with a sense of resentment or a sense of pity? Or they look at nice guys definitely with a sense of pity as well. It's almost like, oh, it's so cute. Look at him. Look at him trying so hard. He thinks this is actually impressing me. Why is he trying so hard to impress me? What do I, what have I done to deserve such effort? None of the other guys have ever put in this much effort. Even they understand that they are ruined. You know why she goes for them? I'm sorry. You know why she goes for them? Because they're not busy putting in effort trying to get her. They're busy achieving their own goals, and that's attractive to people. When I see someone doing their own thing, I'm like, damn, shorty. If I'm out here badgering you every day, like, hi, honey, what are you thinking about now? Oh, the sky? What do you think about the sky? Or oh, clouds? What do you think about clouds? Or oh, precipitation, is it? What do you think about that? Just like 24 hours a day, seven days a week? That's a job at that point. When you're like in your 20s and you're working towards your goals in life, you need someone who can accommodate those goals and be like, how can I assist you to get to that point that you want to get to? You're just a lame person, aren't you? Huh, huh? Yeah, bet you didn't know I come this close to the computer sometimes. Sorry. Even they understand that their value has gone out the window. It went out the window with the first 100 guys they slept with. And I do mean 100. You guys don't realize how utterly abundant women's sex options are. That's why they don't like guys treating them with appreciation. That's why they don't like guys treasuring them. Because they know they're not treasures. This video is not about nice guys, but this guy seems to be defending nice guys. So I just want to say something about nice guys. Fuck them. No. <laughs> just a quick breakdown. How many nice guys have you ever seen? who have achieved all the goals they set out to do. When a guy starts placing infinite value on you and is like, you're the make or break, you're either gonna make me happy or sad, I'm pretty sure that puts a lot of social pressure on the goal. Difference between nice guys and a nice guy is that a nice guy might have a nice house and a nice car and is a nice person. So if you come into his life, he'll be fine. If you leave, that's okay too. Nice guys? It would be like stealing your panties and stuff, sniffing your bra, being like, mm, 33 DD. Mm, blah, blah. <laughs> they don't deny themselves anything. They'll take anything they can get. Women say men will fuck anything and then be the anything that gets fucked. It's so funny because for all the resentment towards men that ran through women have, they sure do seem to have sex with them all the time. They'll still take anything they can get. Oh, this is, this is getting oddly personal. I gotta be honest, I was sitting here, I zoned out. Uh, I just zoned back in. This dude has been going on about how girls have sex with anything that walks. Oh, it's making me a little uncomfortable. It always ends up here. It starts off as, I have an actual point to prove, and then Five minutes into the video. Why does nobody have sex with me? It's because they're all hookers. They're all crazy. They just like men with big Every time. Every time. This man is red pulling us back into the stone age. They don't it's not like they turn down men's advances. It's not like it's not like they just turn away sex altogether. They don't become abstinent. They'll still take anything they can get while at the same time pretending that they're not that type of person. This is not the right attitude to have at all. They are. Some girls who uh, just seem to not like guys in general. But then you get people like this, just as crazy. We need to work together with each other. How you think babies are made? Let me tell you how babies are made. First, the man does this. Then the woman's like, hmm, let me see it. Then he takes it out and then he proceeds to do breakdancing techniques on her. Six days later, she lays an egg and then she farts out a baby. I managed to say almost all of that with a straight face. Oh, but seriously, this is so stupid. Because how you not work together with the other person? You, you have to... It, life is hard enough. Hating any gender, even non-binary stuff like that, hating people in general seems like a big waste of time. But I don't want to ramble on for too long. I think I've spoken on this long enough. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Click the bell so that you don't miss new uploads. And I will see y'all in the next one. Take care. Well, he didn't see us in the next one. We didn't like, subscribe, or click that bell. And the only comments we left have gotten the videos privated. So I guess everybody did their job there. <clears throat> Let me recap on the theories that this man has. Women don't exist. Duh. Every time I look at the ladies' bathroom, I'm like, that's just, that's just wasted space. Women can't have responsibility. Stop giving women responsibility. It's not...
That's that's what nuance thinks. Woman can only take care of infants. Apparently, he thinks women can't take care of uh, children that are bigger than zero years old. Apparently, women can't connect with God. I don't know. Maybe their Wi-Fi is off. I'm not, I'm not sure what the hell that means. Still, also, women don't see reality. That's probably because they don't exist. You can't see reality if you don't exist. That's just logical, baby. Do you guys know about red pulling people and what is it? M M G Tao, M G Tao, men going their own way. Do you know about that? Now I know a lot of people dog on it, and genuinely, I honestly think that in certain capacity, it's a good thing. I think it gives a lot of guys an outlet to start working out and actually achieving their own goals without their end sight being a woman. Because once you have your end goal being to get a goal, it becomes more of an objective thing and women are not objects. So in one sense, red pulling and M Tao is a good thing. On the other hand, there are some crazy people out there. Morpheus would be ashamed of you. If this is what the red pull is like, Morpheus would have took that shit and like, threw it in the sea. At the end of the day, like I said, we should just get along. I don't, I don't want to hate girls. I don't want to hate guys. I don't want to hate anybody. If we're going to hate on something, can we all agree to hate on frogs? What the fuck is a, what is a frog? It's green. It's, it's just on the waters. It's just, it's got a big belly. It doesn't do anything. We should all band together and hate frogs. That's so stupid. I'm not jealous of frogs. I wouldn't want that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other ideas, then do hit me up at 16leo underscore and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Take care of yourselves and fluffs. Please, take it away, baby. Man, uh, and if you're gonna do it, cause... no, 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 no. Let me scratch this out again. Ugly ass. Baby,